Hello everybody, this is Brad Clark for Rigging Dojo. I'm going to go through a quick demo of the Blender rig using the Rig on the Fly tools with the Riot character. So if you've never used Rig on the Fly, it's based on uh, the idea that the rig is configurable to however you want to animate. And by default, when you open this rig, we've already switched it into a couple settings for you. For example, we've used the IKFK switch to switch it to IK for the feet. So when I grab the hips and move it around, the legs are already in IK mode. The feet don't have traditional reverse feet options, but you can reconfigure the feet with some parenting settings that I'll cover in a minute. Another setting we've changed is on the shoulders. So the shoulders for the arms are still in FK mode. So most of the rig is defaulted to FK, but we've used a setting over here under rotation called inherit rotation and we've turned it off. If you don't like that influence to be separated from the, the torso, for example, you can select the control or both controls for the shoulders and hit on. And now if it's animated, it's going to bake the animation over time to go back and convert it to be inherited. But now the arms are entirely FK. If you'd rather have the spine be you know, not inherited, you can select these controls and use the inherit rotation and hit off. And so now we have individual FK controls that are independent to each other. And the same thing for the head, right? We can turn that off and it will bake the animation if there's existing animation and now the head is independent. So these are some of the more powerful and useful settings under the rotation and scale tools. Now, if we want to switch the hand or the arm, sorry, to be um, in IK mode, I can come over to the IKFK switch setting here. I'm going to hide this panel for now because these are all settings that you don't need to worry about when you're just animating. The main area we want to look at is the IKFK switch and the rotation settings. And then um, some of these space switch settings are pretty powerful as well, but we're going to focus on the core use of the rig. So I'm going to hit IK mode. And you can see that it automatically creates a pull vector control for me and an IK control for the wrist. And we have a little bit of um, twist action going on. It's not going to default automatically rig the twist joint, but you can animate that by hand if you need to. So now we've, we can rotate the hand. And when we grab the, the waist, it's not going to follow. One of the other powerful components of this rig is the ability to reparent and, and readjust how things are connected. So for example, if we want IK mode on and we want it to be a child of the waist, we can select them and hit this parent space option. And right now it's gonna jump because there's no animation. If there were keyframes on this, it, it automatically bakes. So you can now see that the rig is in IK mode, but it's wrist is under the parent space of the, the hips. If you don't want that anymore or you were using it just temporarily, you can select the rig again. And here you can see when I select an item that hasn't been parented, these are grayed out. If I pick the wrist and it shows me that it has some restore options, I can restore and put it back to its original space. And again, if it's animated, it's going to bake these and it's going to be seamless. So you don't have to try to match anything. Same thing for the leg, but let's look at how to manage the foot for a second. So right now, the, the foot is in full IK mode, but there's no reverse foot. There's no roll off the ball of the foot. So what you can do is, if you want, you can uh, create a parent, right? You can take the IK control and um, make it a child of the, the toe, but then you're going to have a problem. So there's one more option over here about parenting I want to show you. So I'm going to select both of these controls and I'm going to tell it to parent to a copy. And so now it creates a copy controller that is in charge of both of these uh, controls. And if you need to adjust where the pivot is, you can, you can do that as well. But for now, I just want to show you this is um, an option to kind of push off the ball of the foot and then you can go back in and rotate the, the, uh, the toe. To create a plant if you'd like. And then when you're done with that, you can grab these and again you can say 
restore child, and it's going to get rid of that extra controller and bake it back. So those are some of the options and controls you have for reparenting the rig and adjusting it to how you want to animate. Let's take a look at the aim control real quick as another option. So if we grab the head, for example, we can see that Z, negative Z is forward on the head. And so we can come down here to aim and set this to negative Z and a distance that we want it to stick out in front. So we're in a big, big scale unit size, so let's do like 100. Then we can go ahead and create a world aim node. And so now here you can see it creates it in front of us. And if we move it up and down, we can animate uh, him his head looking at something. And that's going to be independent of the chest, of course, because it's an aim node for the head. So if you would like to be able to have him kind of run and stay focused on a target, that's a one way to do it.